Hi, I'm Dr. Frida Lewis-Hall, Chief Medical Officer at Pfizer. I'm so excited to be here in Australia talking with patients about their journeys. Today, we have Susan Hughes. She's currently a director at Dragon Claw, a not-for-profit organization which supports the needs of people with RA and lupus. Susan, let, let me start by asking you uh, when you were diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I was diagnosed in 2005. So I was having a few days off at home and I started to feel pain in my shoulders and it became persistent. And I'd never had it before and it worried me. And so I went to my doctor who said, it's just aches and pains, it got worse. So I went back to my doctor who then recommended I have physio. So I had about six weeks treatment of physio, massage and acupuncture to no avail. So um, I returned to my doctor who then decided that I'd have a blood test. And, uh, and it came back that I, had, that I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So I was pretty shocked and scared I was really emotionally overwhelmed. And so your next step was then to go to the rheumatologist. Yes. What happened then? The rheumatologist was wonderful. He made me feel comfortable. He was relaxed about it. He was hopeful. Um, he reminded me that it's a journey and I'll be okay. It's early days. So that was calming from, from my rheumatologist. So let's talk about some of the support that you then sought out. Where did you get your support from? I lived in an Australian town of about 3,000 people on the coast of Australia and as much as there were doctors and I had a rheumatologist an hour away and I found a generic arthritis workshop. We realised that something like 90% of disabilities are hidden. Tell me then about Dragon Claw. It emerged. It was an organically created organisation from one patient talking to another. We sought to provide hope particularly for people who are early diagnosed and don't have to go through as much fear as we went through mm -hmm. and frustration, and to provide information, but not clinical. So it was about encouraging patients to get in the driver's seat of their own lives, empower patients to look after themselves. So we provide information, we provide a forum, we conduct research, we support other organisations. We wrote a white paper for the Australian Health Department. We've got lots of videos. We've got a huge library of videos that we've produced, that patients helping patients. But what are the kinds of things that people can say to you that are supportive? Sometimes it's just a gentle reminder. Just using a bit of humour, saying, hang on, the old girl's got RA, remember? And seeking reasonable adjustments. And I think the important thing for all of us is to learn to be assertive, that there's no shame in reminding our loved ones that we are suffering because they can't see it. Chronic conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis are difficult for patients and the people who care about them, but there are many resources available. You can speak with your doctor, pharmacist, or connect with a local patient advocacy organization. You can also visit the Get Healthy, Stay Healthy website for more information on a variety of health topics and to sign up for our newsletter.